Omnicon publicist John, it was meant to be the mega merger in the advertising industry. Think Mad Men on a major scale, but it has crashed and burnt. And the moral of the story is? Well, they committed the cardinal sin of advertising. They sorely misjudged their audience. These two companies should, on paper, have made the perfect merger. They're both roughly the same size. They're both in the same business, so there are cost savings about $500 million a year. And the chief executives saw eye to eye. They drew this whole thing up. But what they didn't do is think through the people issues. Who's going to take what job? What will the clients think? What will regulators think? And what will the tax man think? And on those grounds, the deal eventually fell apart. Of course, some mergers are never an easy thing. But you're sitting in Beijing thinking about these Western companies. And I know there's a China angle here. After all, it is one of the world's fastest developing economies. There is because, of course, China is a huge market for companies like this. And the Chinese merger regulator, Mofcom, is one of the reasons, one of many reasons, that the deal fell apart. It had been reviewing whether these two companies should be allowed to come together, and it had not in time given its decision. Add that to other regulators like the French taxman, who was also wondering whether it was wise to let this company move its tax base to the UK. Lots of people had a say, and they all voted with, uh, with inaction. Okay, so it looked good on paper, but people issues, regulatory issues, it hits the Omnicon publicist's planned merger, it crashes and burns.